What's up guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel and Apple did something quite interesting today, releasing yet another beta for iOS 14.5 for registered developers and public beta testers now have access to iOS 14.5 as well. Now, if you want to register to become a public beta tester, links will be in the description. It is entirely free to register and you can update your iPhone and iPad to iOS 14.5 today. Now, keep in mind that this is a beta software. I don't recommend necessarily installing this on your primary device, but if you do want to venture, links will be in the description down below. Now, iOS 14.5 Beta 1 version 2 was released today for registered developers alongside the public beta, which is quite interesting. Apple normally doesn't release uh, a revised version of a beta. They just release another beta, but for whatever reason, today on February the 4th, they decided to go with a revised version of a new beta. This goes for iPad as well. Nothing for Apple Watch, by the way. Now, I am testing multiple devices, the iPhone SE first generation, as you may or may not know, tons of issue with battery performance on that. So make sure to stay tuned for my follow-up video where I'll talk about the battery on the older devices, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus. Those devices that are struggling with battery, I continue to test the software. With today's beta, that follow-up video just got pushed back a couple of days just because I need more time to test the beta and the software thoroughly to give you in-depth information in regards to the battery. But anyway, what's new with iOS 14.5 beta 1? I guess you can call it version 2. Well, number one, if you're updating from the initial beta, it's going to be about 117 megabytes to update your iOS device. Again, if you're coming from iOS 14.5 beta 1 to beta 1 version 2, it's kind of confusing to say that today, but all the new features stay the same. There's uh, something that has been addressed that I guess Apple needed to address rather quickly before the next beta dropped, and that is app compatibility issues. Many users reported across the board a ton of applications were crashing every time users Users would try to launch an app, it would just crash, specifically the Microsoft applications and some Google apps as well. Now, I did encounter some issues with the AirPods Max. I unlinked or unpaired my AirPods Max from this iPhone earlier today. I could not pair the AirPods Max back with iOS 14.5 Beta 1 version 2. So if you're having issues, just hold the digital crown and the noise cancellation button for about 20 seconds, and then the iPhone would recognize your AirPods Max if you do want to pair those on the latest beta. And as I mentioned, the public beta is now out for developers and public beta testers alike. Links will be in the description. By the way, Apple server is being hammered right now for public beta testers. So if you see this, when you click the link, just come back and try to register your device if it's something that you want to do. If you're an older device owner, like an iPhone SE first gen, iPhone 7, 6S, I would recommend staying away. But again, version two of 14.5 beta one is out to address app launching issues, compatibility with app launching and things like like that and just keep in mind minor bluetooth issues that i've encountered so far but other than that just stay tuned for my follow-up video coming here shortly in regards to battery where i take a deeper dive make sure to participate on the youtube community poll as well and express your thoughts thank you for watching this quick update guys and i'll see you on the next one peace